What up, it's Boy K, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make beats for Can Can. And more specifically, like his newer sound, like not on the plug and B type of shit, like more on that rage sound that he's been kind of doing recently. So, yeah, let's just hop into the beat. So, I'm here in FL Studio 20. I got this beat pulled up that I just made. I'm using a loop from my loop kit that hasn't dropped yet, but trust me, this is gonna be Fuego. It's all rage loop. I'll play you guys the beat so you can hear it. Here's what it sounds like. So yeah, that's what the beat sounds like. So for the melody, like I said, I just used a loop from my Rage Loop Kit that isn't out yet. But in one of my first videos on how to make Rage Beats, I briefly touched on how to make Rage Melodies, so I'll pop a card up for that. So it's originally 150 beats per minute, but I sped it up by 5 BPM and pitched it down 400 semitones. So this isn't actually what the loop sounds like, but here's what it sounds like in this beat. Also, all the drum sounds used in this beat are from my drum kit, the 30 round kit, available at blakey.com. So if you're interested in that, go check it out. But yeah, so the first thing I did for the drums was the 808. I just have it following the root notes of the chord. It's nothing too crazy. It's just a super boosted spins, which I go over on how to properly do in my 808 tips video. I'll pop a card up for that. But this is the 808 pattern, super bare bones, not much going on. So that's the 808 pattern, like I said, super simple, and now we're just gonna hop into the clap. It's just in the same spot as normal. I'm not gonna play the entire pattern. You guys get the point. Next thing I did was the hi-hats. I kind of went a little stupid on these because like the rage shit that Can Can does, most of the time the hi-hats are just going bananas. So that's what I did here. I just did a few rolls, obviously. And then I have this shit here, which is just like a million hi-hats going, but they're not loud at all. And I just have them randomly going up and down in velocity, but just barely. So they're kind of creating like a delay kind of sound. And then also I have crystallizer on them on the default setting, just cranked all the way down just for even more delay sound. But here's what they sound like. Pretty cool in my opinion. You guys don't have to go with this bananas on the hi-hats, but if you really want to have that can can sound, then Go crazy. Then I got this open hat here that hits towards the end of every bar. Here's what it sounds like. So then next up we got the snares. Got a few rolls here and there. This is what it sounds like. And that pretty much does it for the drums. Here's what they all sound like together. So that pretty much does it for the beat. I just did this little intro thing here. He doesn't really do this, but again, I always say this in my videos, like don't try to fully recreate an artist's sound because they're always trying to do something a little bit different. So just mix it up a little bit. I just have this little like Pharrell Williams intro here where the love filter goes up and the master track volume goes up over time. You guys heard it already, but I'll play it again. pretty cool and the very last thing i did was i put my mastering preset on it available at blakey.com so that's pretty much it for this beat i'll play it out and i'll see you guys after that That's pretty much gonna do it for this video uh, a few things like my 808 i have it super distorted you don't have to do that it's just in a lot of the beats that he uses he has like a pretty distorted spins 808 so i just put it on mine you don't have to go super crazy with the hat and like i said this isn't like his plug and b sort of sound this is more the rage sounds obviously you could do other shit for can can beats but if you're really trying to focus on his new sound this is how you do it the loop kit that this loop is from is dropping soon stay on the lookout for that and if you're watching this video in the future it might already be out so check the description my mastering preset and my drum kit are both available on blake.com i'm daily uploading right now so stay on the lookout for that make sure to like comment subscribe all that crazy shit and i'll catch you guys in the next one